Now, I don't know how to explain this next part, so I'm just going to show you how it's done, how I do it, and then hope that it's easy for you to catch on. Um, essentially, it's not difficult chord manipulation, it's just a D, and you're just letting go of your middle finger. So, it, once it's done, it should sound like this. screwed up a bit there but that's how it should sound like basically um, so the way it goes is on the D you pluck without your middle finger and you pluck only 4, 3 and 2 so you're going and then you pluck 3 again 2, 1 put your middle finger back and then pluck 2 mm -hmm. and 8 the same thing except you're putting your pinky down. So play five, three and two, or any strings you want really. It's just, I was just mocking around. So you're just going, feel free to do whatever you feel sounds best. So, so I play five, three, two, and then two again. And then I get that extra note where I put my ring finger, my pinky down on the third fret of the second string. And then I pluck open E, and then I let the pinky go and pluck the second string again. So D mi B minor, and then once again you're taking your pinky off and you're adding an extra note on the second string, fifth fret. So. So yeah, you want to sound 2nd string, 3rd fret, 2nd string, 5th fret, and then that E, that E string with the chord held in place. Okay, so it should sound. And then you're going to shift to your F sharp minor shape, but just just play the ring finger note, and then you're playing the E string. So you're playing E string, pinky on the fifth fret of your second string. All the while you're plucking this string, and then remove the pinky and place your middle finger on the third fret of the second string, and then put the pinky back and pluck the E string. Okay, I made a mistake. You don't have to put your pinky back. My bad. And then revert to G. And then you're manipulating your first string again. D again. G, but once again just the G note played by the middle finger and then back the trill again that I like using and then you can go back to the D shape which is what I do and I use that D shape I use the first and second strings to trill again so it comes up. 